Hey everyone, I hope your day is going well. I'm recording this late at night, normally do at this point, and earlier this week, we looked at the casual side of Town of Salem 2 and how that was perceived and thought, and so it's only fair that we go to the other side and look at the competitive scene and see what things are being said there. I was going to work, and you'll probably see it tomorrow on a whole like Reddit video, trying to try that format out. But I came across this post. I I love good debates. A very fair name for this post here. Um, who was a part of the competitive scene for Town of Salem 2, no longer is, because um, that just, that's not, that is a scene that no one is supporting right now. Devs are not supporting it. Ranked players aren't supporting it. The casual players aren't supporting it. No one is really supporting that scene. So this is their post. And we're just gonna read through it, talk. There's some really good responses um, from some good friends like CC, Mr. CC Dude and whatnot. So let's talk through it and look through it. So first off, I'm not gonna, I am, I am the one that, first, I am not saying that I'm the one that's always right. This is not to bash the devs. I've played Town of Sa but I've played seven years of Town of Salem 1 and played Town of Salem 2 when it came out, even with the beta. I'm a ranked regular who has played every season over 200 plus games per season. I only play ranked. I feel really bad for that guy, first off. I truly loved this game, but I don't get why the top three devs just won't listen. I remember when playing ranked, there was two or three queues popping. There was an active Discord for players to get ranked, ranked practice going. I'm in the back side. I'm going to sites. I feel like the devs should have listened to its community. As someone who has been in charge of things, usually a typical answer, usually a typical answer is we have taken into consideration some community members' input. That either means they didn't ask anyone into consideration or they asked AA or TT community, which isn't always the right thing. Why base things off super casual players? Why not ask the ranked regulars? Why didn't the devs take some AA, some ranked practice, the ranked players idea? Do a round table. I was controlled by a witch. That does not make my life fair. I know everyone is bashing on the devs. This is 20 days ago, by the way. So this is like right after the Digital Banditos um, announcement came out. But listen, devs, you have a whole ranked Discord that got deleted after giving idea that was giving ideas. You had a lot of people who wanted to give input. You had the ranked regulars who actually cared about the game more than you think. Ranked regulars weren't mad because you didn't take their ideas. They were mad because you weren't listening or even considering the ideas. They got mad because they cared about the game. The best idea was to actually take ideas from ranked players and then work your way down to ranked practice, classic, all any, etc. Notice how I said nothing about the doxing because the doxing didn't kill the game. It was all the things with the The only person I know on that list is Ben. I talked with Ben when we were going over the doxing shenanigans. Um, so, I am not a, I'm not part of the competitive scene. In fact, I try and distance myself from that side. Just because you can't, like, yeah, there's Niles who does all the competitive content. I think he might be the only one that does, like, full competitive content. And that's just not my style. I'm more about, let's talk. That's what we're doing here is let's talk. Um, and so I can get this and as Mr. CC dude immediately states it feels more sense to balance around ranked it absolutely feels sense makes sense to balance around ranked that is the most competitive and you can make a and I've talked about this with like Curtis just in like creating ideas and whatnot um, you can create a format that allows ranked to work really well. Um, here's some more Mr. CC Dude conversation. 
I have the hot take that a ranked mode for a party game is basically redundant. <coughs> Smash scene. But I cannot argue that having a base standard mode is a bad thing. It should be the intended way to play the game and should be the most cared for. AA doesn't need balance made around it. It has none in the first place, so there's no reason to balance AA. I cannot speak on behalf of Town Trader players, as I've played at most 20 games of Town Trader, but I'm sure they probably agree that a semi-chaotic mode doesn't need balance made around it and can balance itself with mode modifiers and roll bands. Overall, I'm kind of shocked that some game design choices were even made in the first place. It baffles me that there are so many redundant roles, similar roles, and blatant power creep in an overall design of the game. Even though it's fun, I wouldn't say it's fair. The AA player talking about the game being unfair. Unbalanced experience that I only play because I'm a diehard fan and love the community. BMG dug a hole and it's going to be a real mess for them to get that well. MG's going to be doing that anymore. Cross, Depp, and Marshall are still stupid strong, and Jailer is up there adding to the power creep. Having two of those roles exist either leads to a town winning by a landslide or town being its own undoing, which either which either result isn't fun when you're evil, or you have town decide its own fate instead of you outwitting them. Most low town games have two of those roles that are won by town, which is insane because the most low town games of Town of Salem 1 were rarely town wins even if they had a perfect jailer. I don't even care if they don't buff innies to actually be threats. Most towns never play around innies like Jester or Executioner and just casually let them win left and right. Even pirates who I still believe shouldn't be ignored. But it's, no, it's a pirate, they help town. Equal to one in the exclamation point. It's like one thing I want to see happen besides town biting the big one because they aren't a fun faction to play against or even play as. A coven number attacked you with a trap protect. is when one of the none of the mentioned roles from earlier are being town's population, such as like Prosecutor, Marshal. I groan because I know town is going to gain a massive lever implode on itself because the role just so happens to exist in terms of the game. And here's the first con one that I get to talk on. And you know, so something when we were doing the interview that we always considered is we are not Doom posting. And so we always made sure. Who is the coven that the Trapper, Medusa, okay. Like, who is this coven that the Trapper killed? Um, so from Glackwin, at this point, I don't expect any of our concerns to be addressed at all. Tons of devs were fired. Um, so, tons. You can be specific because we know the number. It's 75% of the team. That's six of eight. Tons of devs were fired, including two people who knew how to act, do actual balance changes. Partnership with an obscure publisher. Constant microtransactions. I think they're ready to put Town at Salem 2 on life support and move on to the next project. Someone who did the interview tell you that's... Why did you shoot the tracker? Not the case. Man, I don't even want to think about that crap. Curtis, Blue, Russ, Tuba, all done dirty. Or, again, we now know hindsight. This came out like the 7th and what, the interview was like the 14th or 16th, I think. You think I would know when I did my interview? It was the 16th. Um, they were not fired. They were laid off. And did Tuba say there was no ill intent? That is correct. There was no ill intent. 
that is something Curtis was on stream earlier this week. To say that, you know, I don't know why people think that we have something against them. Um, logical, welcome to rant. Target audience are whales buying hats and scrolls, not regulars. I, I think this is going to change. It spiked a bit, player. Yeah. Probably like 300, 400. Here we go. Most people play all any, including the active players that care about the game. I didn't play this game at the start of its life, but I played it for a solid 15, 20 hours a week for most of the past year, playing it mostly all any. Why should the game be balanced around a small minority instead of the vast majority of players, especially when ranked doesn't include... Oh. Most serious players. I'm not opposed to the devs balancing some around rank or even have a slight balance changes to some classes between different game modes, but this post really is really just someone trying to be elitist about what mode to play in a video game. So this post by Sandwich is exactly the counter argument that I see the ranked community always running into. And not having well there's like there's a handful of responses that you can give you can give the response you can give the response that a mode a randomized mode should not be the balanced of a game i think that's fair you should not balance all any, you should not balance the game around all any. All any is about chaos and fun. Let ranked be around the balance, and you can do the balance changes to allow that to happen. Uh, number two, all any is the majority of players. I mean, I'm on all any right now. Granted, it's four in the morning, but I'm on all any right now. And then the third argument, which is never like a game argument, it is the ranks are just elitists. Which I can understand coming from other, other competitive communities. Um, what are some of the responses to that? Because that's like... That's like the standard answer. I am going to back out and we'll talk. Um, from interesting Newt, because all any is inherently unbalanced, which I think is why people like it. They can listen to the all any players and try and balance the game for them, but there's still going to be games with only four town or 12 town or two town or 14 town and any and two cabin. Like 95% of the time, the game is unbalanced, and that's the Ranked ranked practice and the other role lists like Town Trader are designed to be a balanced version of the game where every faction typically has a chance to win the game if they play their cards right. If they take more input from the ranked community, they can just make a really fun and balanced game mode. I had the, a conversation with Mystic yesterday on this. You need to make a good ranked mode. I think also, what you need to do is you need to try and get the chaos people out of all any. Those that, you know, they quit the game because the regulars bully them around. I put bully in air quotations. And I think a chaos mode, like in April. April, but for every other month of the year, would benefit. Um, a response from Mr. CC dude. I like the stupid games where it's blatantly unbalanced, but there's a difference between fun unbalanced where it's quirky random 14 town versus a necromancer. I've seen that game before. Compared to a game where town shuts down every evil because they gain so much value from one or two people specifically. If there's two people who can determine the outcome of a game by pressing a single button each, is it fun to play against? 
takes a whole social deduction aspect out of the game and just turns it to a press X to win based off of X information. Which, we knew going into Town of Salem 2 was more of what they were going for. The roles were going to be stronger and more valuable. And as someone who was not a huge fan of the social deduction aspect of Town of Salem 1, because it generally led to just screaming at each other. I was okay with that. I think an answer... Also, this... I think the answer is just making a smaller subset of ranked. So, if you, I, I think, you know, I've been using Smash as the example. If you look at Melee, Melee, um, they don't use every single map. Several of the characters aren't viable. They don't use I. So, cut out some of the roles. You know, they cut out Pirate. I'd cut out Admire and Amnesiac. I would probably, unless they change Dreamweaver, cut out Dreamweaver. Um, I would nerf down several of the other roles. Like, that, to make it a more balanced move. Because that's what, you know, the ranked community truly like, is balanced. And it's another thing that I talk about quite a bit is win rates. I know from my contacts that the win rate is supposed to be 50% town, 40% coven, 10% neutral, excluding neutral evil. Neutral killing. I think, how did someone said it like neutral? Neutral powerful or something? They had a name for it. But neutral pock and neutral killing. Fifty, forty, ten. Where I think everyone is really like the all any casual community are really wanting twenty five percent town, twenty five percent coven, twenty five percent apoc, twenty five percent. But they're really kind of looking. And so I can get on the competitive side, is it really just kind of feels like. I don't care. And I understand the power creep. And it would make sense if they fixed some of the roles that were bad. But I think also to be fair, not every role should... There should be some D or F tier roles. But I'd rather the D or F tier roles be something like Cleric. Where... You know, it's a D-tier role, but it does its job really well, and it's important. Then say, you know, Spy. The D-tier role that just kind of is eh, or admire, which feels worse. So, just another thing to throw down with your thoughts. Hope you enjoy kind of the other side, and there'll be another... There, I think what I'm going to do next is just do an entire Reddit run-through. Just see what that format looks like for future endeavors. Um, while well, we're waiting on the big video to get done. Thanks for reading. I guess thanks for reading. Um, debate stuff. And thanks for listening. And interested to hear your thoughts down below.